Alright guys, so this is the final look that I created. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is sort of a little bit more on the glamour side. Uh, cat eye, a little bit smoky eye, some highlights, some blush, and um, nude brown, modern brown lip. Um, hope you guys enjoy. So I'm starting with eye primer from Jane Ardell. Uh, they have a couple ones, I like this one, and foundation, matte Jane Ardell's new foundation. It's not super, super full coverage, so I supplemented with Max. Full coverage palette, pro palette that I have. This is more for like a glam look, not for everyday look, or for special events or pictures. And also concealer from MAC, also um, more so for not so much every single day, but to supplement when you need that extra perfect flawless look. And I like to exfoliate my lips for more smoother sink application later, which I use MAC exfoliator. Uh, lower, I really love it because it has small granules, super soft on the lips. And I use Max brow powder here. Jane Ardell unfortunately don't make my shade currently. Does not make. Um, and I like the powder, it's kind of natural. And I also supplemented with eyebrow pencil. But here, as you see, I'm applying some of setting powder to set that foundation I put on earlier. Uh, just that it might do have an oily skin. I did put a primer, but um, I don't do per se that crazy baking where so much of that setting powder, but I just add some because later I'll also add the matte pressed powder too on top because it has sunscreen. And I don't like wearing heavy sunscreen underneath foundation because it makes it like peel. Um, and now, well, I also use the brow, um, brow gel as you saw, and now we're doing the blush. I use the Jane Ardell's Contour Kit, and this color, this is coral color. The key is really to blend it out as everything, and, um, and then I contour top of my forehead with the you know the dark shade and also the keys to blend it out so I put on my chin area and you want to make sure you put it not too high not too low on your not to accentuate those cheeks give that shadow so depending what uh, face shape you have you might want to do that or not do that I personally think it looks good on my face when I do that and there are certain science that goes into it determining face shape and what looks good or not on each face and now I'm proceeding with uh, eyelash primer a kind of conditioner from Jane Ardell it just keeps the eyelashes healthy I feel bad putting mascara on them especially the waterproof mascara you know, and from MAC that I use for more elaborate looks because it does look a little more better, stay longer than Jane Ardell's mascara. So I always at least try, when I'm gonna know I'm gonna do more crazy eye look, I'll add um, that Lola primer conditioner on my lashes to keep them healthy. And um, I also added some MAC highlighter, as you saw there. Um, and now I'm adding, I'm using actually, this is Urban Decay palette, Naked, which I had for a while. I was thinking to use different eyeshadow, but then I realized I didn't bring it. So I used the dark, um, sorry, the nude eyeshadow color there, and now I'm doing the black. I like to use these little, um, eyelash applicator <laughs> helper things when I do black eyeshadows because it's the color jack black and the base that I did it was the nude and the lockout like a skin color pinkish whatever 
So this is like not completely black, even though it does say Jack Black Jack, but it's, it has a little bit almost like tone, purplish, grayish tone to it. So, but the key is, um, you know, start light and then just blend it out. You can always add more instead of adding too much of the very pigmented dark eyeshadows. I put a little bit under the lid. You don't want to add too much under the lid though, because it might make your eyes look droopy. So you put on top more up 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 to the brow bone but never above it you want to accentuate your brow bone but not put eyeshadow on there you want to put highlighter on your eye brow bone brow bone so now it's moving on to the next eye and you can purchase these sticky things on Amazon if, or some people just do foundation afterwards because then you can wipe out any fallout. Um, but the key is to whatever works for you, it's good. So I kind of like to put my foundation first and that's kind of how the thought of school is in the professional world too. Because uh, it's kind of like blank canvas to work with. So, looks like it's blended and then I'm going to apply a little bit of this brown, the lockout color like I mentioned. So, so far we have like three shades going there. The one, the first one, the most like pink nude, um, more nude than pink and then we have the black jack and now this is the lockout brown. And I'm using this pod um, eyeliner from Dan Rodeau and then I'm gonna supplement it with max tip eyeliner I kind of like to do that because this is so easy to apply and then max tip eyeliner helps to kind of just accentuate the very fine tip it kind of locks it in place because this eyeliner is actually not waterproof but it's actually healthier on your skin so that's why i try to use as much natural makeup as i can but sometimes for the purpose of the longevity or the fine tuning i do work with meg which is an excellent cosmetics for like photo shoots and any extended wear that you know you're gonna need more than you know a couple hours more than dinner the all day makeup max can stay i'm not saying jane or Del wouldn't it stays as well but certain products you need them waterproof and waterproof means more chemicals so that's why um they're do doing this now i I realize my brows just with the powder sometimes are not enough so I fill them in a little bit with the Max brow pencil and that's the other product I just love from Mac and it also has this other tip that you can use like um, blend crayon thing I'll show you in a second the key is brows shape your face so you want them to be just right make sure you don't go you want to have one eyes distance between each brow and then you want to go long on the sides but not too long and you don't want to have them too high or too low because it might look like you're angry or it might look like you're you know it might create weird thing going on and a uh, lip primer from MAC makes the lipstick stay very well and this is another eyelash primer now at this time this is volumizer not so much like conditioner like the one I used before this is the volumizer from MAC that I really like and uh, it almost like you don't need fake eyelashes you know you just you know like a more general occasion, but I do like to throw them on they really kind of make the look be like whoa Opens up the eyes nicely, but not everyone likes fake, fake eyelashes, so primer makes a big difference I found now I'm kind of jumping from eyes to lips here, but this is a lip pencil 
a nude color from Jane Ardell. That makeup brand, I'm not afraid to even get some to your mouth, you know. It's mineral based, they're really clean makeup brand and a lot of their products will stay well like just maybe except mascara and eyeliner. They could have more brow shades, but I love this MAC palette for lips so that I use the nude brand, modern brown color. And then I also put the lip mix for it to shine or you could leave it like this matte. But I'd like for like an extra pop, add some of the shine too. I think that um, my lips are kind of crooked, but, but we're not perfect, you know, each side of a face is has differences and that's to be expected unless you go to plastic surgeons, which I don't, <laughs> I don't think I will ever, but to each their own, if you want to, it's perfectly cool. Now this is the Giga Mega Lash um, waterproof mascara from um, MAC that I really like and um, it stays long, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't run out, like you know it's just amazing, really well made products in general. So you could be done like this, but I'm going to add fake eyelashes. I'll use the NYX setting spray there. And also one little touch extra highlight on the brow bone. And a little bit in the inner corner of the eye. Because it does open up the eyes nicely. And this is Jane Ardell. They have white and pinkish color. I mostly use white though depending on your color scheme my work yes I do agree with myself <laughs> sometimes I add it above the brow as well and then I do some stretching I do like to use white eyelash glue the black eyelash glue is more uh, difficult to control especially if you're a beginner i mean at this point i don't care anymore i just got used to using but if you're a beginner practicing how to apply fake eyelashes on yourself or other people or clients i would say because white will look white at the beginning but then they um just dry and then you don't see the glue but if it's black let's say when you put in eyelash on you mess it up it's gonna mess up your eye look then you gotta fix it and I just realized I didn't blend that white highlighter pencil very well in one spot there I don't know if you can see a little dot under my brow but um, the thing with applying fake eyelashes is to make sure the glue is tacky so don't apply right after you add glue on your eyelash and I've seen some makeup artists put the eyelash glue on the eye directly I'm like no girl I don't know where they learned that I'm not into that because it could glue your eyes up or your client's eyes very bad scenario definitely would ruin the makeup um but what do I know to each their own again so, um, and my husband said hi there <laughs> for a second. If you apply them when the glue is tacky, usually like 10 seconds I would wait after, you know, you add the glue, they won't fall off, you know, unless the glue is old or bad or something like that, but they hold pretty well. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, follow, like, whatever you want to do. And hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.